I feel like it's been a while since I reviewed a ship, or even previewed one. I held off on Wichita for the sole fact that right as I was about to give my thoughts on her, Ouija went ahead and took away her wonderful Baltimore AP shells, leaving it as a shell, no pun intended, or maybe it was totally intended, of herself. That kind of made me reluctant to give any previews at all. I mean, why tell you something when it's going to change almost inevitably? That's partly the reason I didn't say anything regarding Vanguard. That changes today, because Vanguard is now out and available to purchase. Vanguard in many ways is a special battleship. She was the last battleship ever commissioned. Her commissioning came after the conclusion of World War II, so she just missed out. Not only was she the last battleship, but she also boasted what some feel was the most accurate fire control system on all of the battleships ever created. Now, we know that Vanguard got off to a very rocky start. She was quite underwhelming in just about every single aspect. So what's changed on this Tier 8 Premium? For starters, her reload was reduced from 28 seconds to 25. Damage per minute was one of the huge detractors of the previous version of the ship. Her HE damage has been increased from 5300 to 6300 per shell. Why? Because in the last iteration, even her HE was garbage. The downside is that the rotation speed on her guns has been increased, so her guns move more like war spites, even though this is definitely no war spite. At least the shells are now on par with Monarch, right? There were other changes that came back in October as well. Her Citadel was reduced. Rudder shift was decreased from 16.2 seconds to 9.72 seconds, making her very agile. HP recovery efficient was increased from 0.5 to 0.6 per second, and her repair team cooldown was changed from 80 to 60 seconds. Also, AP shell detonation time was increased from 0.015 to 0.033 seconds, which really won't make much sense to the average player as it is, but it's better than it was before. The bottom line is Vanguard has had the living hell buffed out of it, and still, Despite all of this, in spite of all the work put into her, she is still milk toast. She is still meh. I guess you could call her average, maybe. In my opinion, she still needs a little more work, but it's too late for that. Part of the problem are her 15 inch shells. Those 15 inchers are gonna be seeing a lot of 16 inch shells and larger. Her armor has a hard time dealing with those 16-inch shells. Even angled bow on, she takes a lot of damage. Really? I think she needs her Sigma buffed from 2.0 to 2.1. Make her the most accurate battleship in the game to match her historic fire control. That might help her. Then again, it might still not be enough to bring her from the depths of meh. In her own tier, she fares fine against other tier 8 battleships. Still, damage per minute can be lethargic, her guns can be frustrating, and it takes picking on tier 7 battleships to actually feel good about her. That's not a good thing, really. She is fast, though, and to her credit, she boasts really, really good anti-aircraft capabilities. Overall, though, if there are other battleship options out there, you might want to look into those. This ship is more of a tier 8 hood than a tier 8 war spite. So who might be interested in this ship? Britain's nostalgic for the last giant piece of glory built in Portsmouth, or wherever these things were built. I just said Portsmouth because that's the first thing that came to mind. Those that wax historic will likely want to purchase this ship. If you like moderately fast and maneuverable battleships that are accurate, this might be your ship. If you have trouble with choosing targets wisely, and find yourself getting focused on a lot, then you'll probably want to avoid this ship. When playing in higher tiers, your survivability will depend on your ability to flank, maneuver, and not get caught where you can't escape. Overall, I would not use Vanguard in the Vanguard. I'm sure many will like her, but she's a fickle gal. 
a beautiful yet very high maintenance lady. Just keep that in mind before dropping your cash on her. And be sure to shop around the other reviews on her as well. Get the opinions of everyone else and then make your decision before you spend your money. Anyhow, thanks for watching this review on the Vanguard. Zoop out.